walk through the first match. Uh, we'd like to play first, yes. Okay, here we look like a sweet, sweet hand. We got the uh, block crypts. We've got two spike fox, electric re, and a key rune. So couldn't get much better, I would say. So let's wish upon good luck and let's get this guy rolling. I mean, I'm excited about electric re, just because if he dares play a script like his uh, pack rats, we've got the answer right here. And otherwise, um, synergy with like Trick Rain Splatter Thark is going to be amazing. So, yeah, so it's going to be turn 3 Splatter Thark, turn 4 Splatter Thark, and then it's going to keep on beating with like Trick Rain in the, uh, in the back to uh, burn him out. So, hopefully, it's going to be a quick game and uh, we'll be able to burn through his life like a hot knife, knife, knife and butter, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, let's see if my phone decides to show up. Oh well, maybe it's been to the toilet or something. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Sweet. And uh, no, I like to play too live. I mean, the chance of him having an amazing one drop is uh, it's really quite rare, I'd say. Yeah, I got like this shiny block ripped. Mm -mm -mm. Also quite a few ticks as well, if I decide to uh, sell it at some point. I mean, in general, I don't really care much about foil cards, so I'm not really sure why people, you know, wanting to pay more for it. I mean, they're rare, sure. But then again, functionally they do the same thing as non-rare lands, so I don't really see the appeal. But maybe that's just me. Ooh, I got joined as well. Uh, let's play our swamp here, why not? So yeah, I suppose like I'm marring our uh and shiny block rips. Okay, here we go. Mountain, Splitterthark, go. Yes, we do like to unleash it. Okay, so next turn, get a second Splitterthark in and... It's Ooh, that's nasty then. Uh, no attacks for us, I'm afraid. That's alright, I mean... Just back like a bigger punch uh, turn after. Okay, our opponent is. Mana screw, which is gonna help us tremendously. Yeah, so keep electric in the back for now, as long as we can. I mean, unless he decides to play a, a Ford, like a drop like four toughness, now we start to worry, but for now we can just leave it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Third spell of thark. Well, first of all, let's attack with the existing ones and see uh, see what happens. But this could be a very quick match if we... Um, okay. Man, Paul must be thinking, <laughs> must be kicking himself like, what? Three spare thugs. This is quite unusual, I must say. But, you know, one more and the party is complete, I would say. Okay, some bird, fair enough. I mean, here is like where the uh, extra is going to shine. Because we can quite simply attack with all of them. If he decides to double block, anyhow, we can just play the electric re and. Well, just make him sorry. But first of all, we're going to play the uh, key rune. So, in case we do have to play the electric, we can actually tap the key rune to do so. We don't have to uh, tap any of the land. This allows us to play the uh, giant bluff ray giant next turn. So, yeah, so keep having electric re now allows us to save 
We'll have to spec a Thox in case he decides to uh, double block one of them. Oh, he's just jumping, is he? Yep, okay, he's just jump blocking, which is fine. Uh, so I don't have to do anything here. I mean, we could play uh, Electric Figure with his um, Arrestor and Bird this turn, and then he basically had to block with the Centaur Healer instead of Songbirds, or take 9 damage. But I think this is gonna shine better like late game when he drops like his uh, four drops. So gonna actually like break through his, uh, his defense without much uh, problem. Yeah, so he's gonna attack and depends what happens. We either have to use the uh, electric ray to uh, save our spider or you can uh, drop the uh, blood fray giant. End of the turn. So we're gonna use the bird to block, I imagine. Okay. Let's see, he's got common bonds. What's this? Cross of might, he becomes a five five. Yeah, it's not gonna do about that really. Um Yeah, so I suppose I was gonna die, there's nothing we can Oh no, actually no. If we play extra crew now, then his bird dies. Uh, he gets he becomes a four four gets one damage. Yeah, yeah, we can totally do this. Okay, so cast for overloads. Tap. Tap. So his bird dies, becomes a four four, and still dies to first strike damage. Bam! That's how you do it. Okay, go have with that play. I can do anything else, but that's okay. Yeah, so. Like I said, Spurthark Electric Re is just insane. Yeah, so now we're just gonna deliver the beat down sense. Oh, you could activate the key rune here, but I'd rather keep mana back to uh, cast the uh, giant deliverance. That's fair enough. Okay. Uh, just cast the giants and getting with even more damage next turn. Yes. So yeah, so he needs to have some really good answers here. So let's see what he comes up with. Yeah, that's it. Man, that's pretty sick uh, opening... Uh, it's pretty sick opening... Uh, Sakara, I would say. Um, I don't think we make any changes. I'm quite happy the way it is. So, I haven't seen any cards which makes me worry too much. So yeah, if you got like the same kind of opening hand last time, then this should be piece of cake. Ooh, this is nothing like it. So, Mulligan. Okay, this is a little bit better. Although we don't have any creatures, we are going to keep it. And hopefully we'll be able to draw some uh, creatures as we go along. Okay, here we go. Harold. Fair enough. Ah, oh, here it is. The Splatterthark. My friend. Um, yeah, that's fine. What else we can do here? Yeah, it's actually Splatterthark Pursuit Flight. It's going to be a powerhouse. 5-5. Five, five. That'd be pretty insane, I'd say. Yep, that's fine. Uh, we could kill the Herald if we wish to with the Speed Spasm, but it seems a bit... Seems a bit petty. Yeah, something to do. Especially with Expert Thug next turn. And there's not much you can do to uh, stop us. Ooh, 4-4 four, four, is it? Okay. Okay, well, like I said, I took three spell talk deals with four fours, as predicted. <laughs> so let's get a party started. Spell talks go. Yes. Man, I have like four spell talks in the deck. It's just insane. Yes. Yeah, so next turn, let me think. He 
could double block though if he he does attack. Okay, good. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Let's see, because well, I need to attack. That's for sure. But he's gonna attack us for seven damage every turn, and we got no defenders whatsoever. So we need to be a little bit careful here with what we are, uh, what we're going to do, because he's gonna chomp block with the uh, herald, swap in with the um, four three three centaur, centaur, and we are left with nothing to. Uh, the tide, so this is not going to work in our favor at all. So we're going down to nine life next turn already, which is not very good. I mean, hopefully, drop like a um, a swamp so I can actually play the long last. That, sh that should hold them back for a bit, because otherwise, it's going to be a very tough match. Oh, another one. And a griffin, wow, okay. No, we do get a split attack instead though. But it's not going to be enough because he's going to attack with 3, 7, 8, 9, and we're dead. Yes, yeah, so we need we need a defender this turn and split the thug. Much as I like you, you're not going to make the cuts, I'm afraid to do so. I uh, could make him a defender, I suppose, but it's, it's more a little bit little awkward. Uh, you know, if he costs mad, it costs three spasm to deal with his uh, smiter. We could kill the centaur, though. That this would be. Uh... But I think the best plan is to play this player thug. Don't unleash it. Kill the centaur, or the electricity, kill his herald in the process, hopefully. Probably not gonna happen that way, but at least get rid of one of his centaurs, that will take six. And hopefully, we get uh, enough mana to get Vessels all up. Doesn't sound like a good plan at all, but it's all we've got. So, yeah, just gonna try. Just have to try. Yeah, it's always like a bad sign. Like once you see your opponent not unleashing his uh, screeches, you know you're in trouble. Or he's in trouble, rather. Okay, well, they can block this centaur this turn. That will still take 6 damage. I'll kill the centaur. Yeah, I'm not liking this at all. Yep. See what he has. Course of might again. Could be. Plus two, plus two, and trample, and that kills the spell. Fuck me, what we do? Because we go three, three, it becomes a five, five. So yes, no, we, no, we can actually kill him. Uh, so instead, yes, yeah, something we can do. Okay, we'll just, uh, we'll just severe. Yep, that's that. Okay, that was rough, to say the least. Um, haven't seen any islands yet, though. I'm not sure what's going on. But yeah, we can play first again. Um, I wonder if we want to have a dispel in my deck as well as uh, syncopate. Mm. And then again, we got the charm as well, so I don't think I actually want to make any changes. So we're just gonna keep our ideas. Okay, yes, let's play first. Okay, got one land again, which is not keepable. Here we've got all lands and thought flare, which is not keepable. And this alright, so we're gonna keep this. We've got our uh, spider thug, uh pursuit of flight, so it should be okay. 
Oh man, I hate to like lose this uh, this matchup because I think like we got like such a sweet sweet deck to play with. Well, then again, you can't have it all. So okay, so next turn, Splatterthark. They can pursue flights in uh, in action and get this body rolling. I would say. Yep. Okay, that's the islands. Nice. Um, yeah, I'll play the islands. Why not? Although, yeah, we could have a counter next turn, so it might be good to have. Yeah. And Spady Splitter Thug. Okay, this definitely puts us in the game. So next turn, we can uh, pursue flights, give a creature flying, and then our opponents are kind of four turn clock. So it's going to be hard to uh, to deal with for him, I think. That's what he casts. It's well, beast master. Eh? Fair enough. Any draw is a charm, how nice. Um, yeah, we're gonna put this on you. Then we're gonna give you flying. And then we're gonna get in there for some serious damage. Fern to three turn clock. That should be good. There we go. So let's see what our opponent can do. Actually, pull this guy as well. Each other creature control cats. Okay. Yeah, it must like some auras to uh, to play with. Otherwise, this is just useless. I'll see what opponent's up to. And for now, we're looking pretty cozy, I would say. Oh man, it's gonna be. Oh no, wait, he's still got mad to uh, get his Herald up and running. Sure, well, we'll take one damage. No problem. Okay, uh, we got another split stock. How very nice. Yeah, we're just gonna get in there and basically be as aggressive as we possibly can. What's he doing now? Deliverance or. Ah, uh, damn, damn, damn. I don't think it's a chance to counter this. How annoying. Yep, nothing we can do here. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I can't actually do anything against this, can we? Okie do. Um, in that case. Oh, we should have got a rent so use three to clear, clear his board, would be quite nice. Um, so yeah, so question, do we want to play this Spider Thark, or Griff is Herald, and or Beastmaster? That's the question here. Well then again, he can't actually use his Herald until like, next turn, so we should be alright, I think. Yes. That's a shame. Actually, lost the um, split the fuck there. You probably should have left mana open for the Is Charm. That would have uh, prevented a lot of harm. Out, I think. Not all well. He can't predict everything, so it's not a big issue. Ok, 
Okay, so let's have the beast monster out here soon. Yep. And uh, we'll take one more damage, because why not? Yes, yeah, so look a bit rough at the moment. Um, I think it's a little bit to agree with the uh, pursuit of flight there. I mean, I knew we had this card, but yeah, well, took a little bit too many risks. Okay, this deck of Spare Thark is going to get this Herald in. We can then step wounds Herald. Or step wound the uh, Centaur, which actually comes after. Yeah, so you'll chomp block turn it into like a centaur. Yep, that's fine. Uh so you can either kill the beast master or kill the centaur even. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll actually just kill the centaur and then kill with the beast master off with the uh, is a charm. You can't do both, unfortunately. But yeah, that seems like the best play here, I think. Doesn't matter if these uh, creatures and like reducing all damage we get as much as we can possible, and also make sure he doesn't get any. Um, So you get any um what's the word? Popular bit stuff. So yeah, I'm much happier with having the center off the board. Because I know he's got Drew's deliverance and be annoying to uh, have to play around that. Okay, so let's see what he's got. We got the step wound is a charm on our side, so we're looking pretty good. Let's see if I can attack this 1-1. One, one. Yep. Yeah, so a steady stream of beats coming down. And Guardian, okay. Fair enough. Hey, red source, okay. Um Yeah, we'll just keep on attack with the spell thought means nothing else. Can do I want to do here? No blocks, okay. I uh, can put step wound on his guardian. Uh, keep my for isn't charm. I think that's a uh, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Okay, he goes down to ten, which is just fine. Uh, this is the moment he starts pumping like his beast master with some. Uh, ooh, what's this? It's big. So of course, uh, we can actually counter this. Not gonna happen. Good. So that gives us less stuff to, uh, to deal with. I plus he basically gives like a uh, uh one more black wear. Should be solid for sure. Okay, for now we can just uh keep on attacking until we uh, get our a third black source. Um I mean until then he's got three more turns before he dies. So all we have to do is basically hold our ground for that many turns. But once this drops, that's the end. Pretty much so. Shouldn't be too worried, I'd say. Oh man, another one. Wow, good for him. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit worried here. Since he seems to have like quite a lot of creatures on his side. Uh, yeah, not what I want to see here. Yeah, actually I can... 
Yeah, I feel like I'm going to lose this beast master one of the sensor here. So let's see, so he needs to block with one of them, otherwise dead next turn. So let's say beast master, so he deals 6 damage every turn. 10, 2, 2. Yeah, I think I'm still winning this, uh, this race, so it should be fine. Yeah, he has to block with something. Beast master, okay. Yeah, so you're doing all six every turn, and he continually has to uh, has to block us. Yeah, so he attacks. We go down to ten. He goes down to one. We go down to four. He dies. So it should be good. Let's got some match shenanigans uh, up his sleeve. But I think if we can play a creature. Auto and he doesn't play creature on his turn, we should be fine. It does seem like very much danger actually losing. This is a bit scary. I think it doesn't have anything. Damn it. <sighs> okay, we cannot attack. If we attack, he loses his guardian. Then again, if he does attack. Yeah, it's a bit of a tricky one, because he can have a Course of Might, or Giant Growth, or Common Bond, or all of them. Or it can actually have like Eye in the Skies, or anything like that. Uh, which actually means he wins the game. Then again, if I do attack, he blocks. He can do these things either way, so... All I can do is just sit tight and hope for the best. So, fingers crossed. So I disguise is it. No, it's this. I should be casting now. Judgment. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Yep. Well played. So yeah. He can now have a whole bunch of combat tricks to uh make me lose the game. So I'm not sure... Yeah, that's the end there. Good game! <laughs> bit of a shame to lose there, I mean... Pretty much the Subi were there already, but... Gotta be agree with the uh, Pursuit of Flight. And that was what cost me the game the, uh, the end. That was a good effort though. Unfortunately, not enough in the end. So I'll... Uh, so see you guys uh, next turn. And uh, thanks for watching.